And we are underway. 12 three minute rounds in the super lightweight division. Dean Taylor in test and then prevail. And that's the, that's the only past comments during the pre fight documentary. The long way from home. Good body shot from the lead hand from Josh Taylor, then bringing a left hook into play. Good left jab. A couple of two shot combinations, both upstairs and downstairs, getting to work with his ball. It takes a while with, in a big spotlight just to get adjusted, but after a while, you're just in a fight and you just got to win his attacks. Nothing, nothing clean really getting through. He's on the balls of his feet, ready to move in faster, move out. That's good uppercut there from Taylor in close. Bringing the left point through two completed rounds, hasn't managed to do so. He's too tense, Roll. That's his problem. He needs to relax a little. Shane McGuigan, another accomplished trainer in the sport of boxing. Beautiful South Point. Beware that Ryan Martin isn't playing possum and trying to lure you into a false sense of security afterwards as well. And might just be a bit of confidence, a bit of success he needed to win over former world champ Miguel Vasquez and then that coming of age performance against Victor Postol to me with the two with the two hands and then coming in with the two good shots and now he's targeting the body you the same right man should do this should do that but Taylor's put him in his place very early and then a hook around the corner from the right flank before the south four left Keeping a right eye, an eye on the right orb of Ryan Martin as he's continuing. Look at the, the accuracy from the punch picking of Josh Taylor. Going off the back foot is Ryan Martin and not letting his hands go. So being pegged back to the ropes, terrific right hand to the body once again to the space of centre ring. Terrific work to the rib cage once again, shoveling in punches to the midsection and targeting to the problems that Ryan Martin is facing tonight. He's quickening up his feet now in pursuit of his man. There's a nice left uppercut and catapulted himself off the strands. And look at that infighting being demonstrated excellently by Josh Taylor. Devil about him when he goes about his preparations and his training, and he certainly needs that here in the boxing ring tonight. Drown. And Ryan Martin emerged from the corner. Oh, that's a terrific right. In the right hook upstairs. And it's all Josh Taylor looking to show that he's the governor at close range because he's losing in just about every facet of the game. And that's the problem for him, isn't it? He can. So you think he would have cut? There's a cut to the left eye. And Ryan Martin, while well, his problems mounting up here, and look at the way Josh Taylor. Teeing up with that left hand is Josh Taylor. Taylor. This is Ryan Martin's third fight up at 140, and he felt that with that. Didn't find a range with any of them. But at least letting his hands go with bad intentions to. And, but doing nothing. What a left hand. Ripped into the solo, solar plexus. There's a right hand behind the elbow. From Josh Taylor. But, but he needs at some point. He got a grip. Fight on a knock up shield. And, and the, the throw the one single shot. That's better. And then let the Martin looking to proper a sporting touch of blood. Taylor not particularly interested and comes back. What a left hook. Trying the same shot again. The right hook was followed with. What a funny shot as well there from Taylor. A lovely roll as well to make the angle for the shot. Oh, and Ryan Martin has been discombobulated. He's gesturing that he was hit by Crampo to the canvas after taking a left hook from Josh Taylor. He intimated that it was around the back of the head. Josh! of the boxing ring but he's extended the perfect start to his career tonight and he 